हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई एम अगेन ऑन दिस क्लिप टू शो यू सम सिंपल सिंपल थिंग्स फॉर डायनेमिक्स ए एक्स दिस क्लिप इज गुड फॉर ए एक्स लर्नर आई एम अगेन टेलिंग यू दैट यूर एक्सपर्ट्स देन यू ऑलरेडी नो हाउ टू यूज द थिंग्स like uh, loop condition while loop for loop switch these are the basic things of any programming language only syntax will be change i will show you some simple simple things to understand you how loop works how if else condition works in dynamics ax this is simple the for loops any language if you use the for loop then you can uh, use for then your initial things initialization of the variable and what condition you want to put till the limit and increment of the variable here i am printing the things same thing you can do it in info log also str fft because info log will not print directly numeric in str fft anything you can print easily in string format you can command the pos then it will show you i will go it 100 till the 100 value it's giving because we define the limit till 100 so is the this is the simple example of for loop and same thing you can do with while loop also here we need to initialize from starting then we are giving the condition inside that and we are printing the same and this is the do while loop we can see the output of both the loop 1 2 3 4 5 do while execute the first statement before checking the conditions and by it checks from the starting so it's easy to understand you how do while work in ax then this is the example of if condition like item id we have specified and we have put if else if else if and else if section and matching the conditions here we define 1001 so it will go to this range and it will print the same if i will give it to 5001 then it will print this and if there are lot of if else if else then you can put a switch also this is also a simple example of switch we are assigning the expression value first then it will switch to the its, its matching condition and break the case statement there whatever its matching default is same like else condition if this else if else if and 
else this is the easy way to understand the switch statement in ax2012 one more operator is there is ternary operator here it's checking for the expression like customer this customer if it is fine then we need to print the fine and if it is not there then it will print the not fine same like this statement we can write this in single line and both result will be same you can print both result that is found if we put something like not found and first is found second is not found this custody this is the i am showing the difference between update and update record set in ax if you use simple update then you need to put a while statement while select for update and the condition it should be in the uh, section of tts begin and tts commit transaction begin and commit then put the simple table object and update update record set is simple to update the record in the sets center is update record set table name then setting the column value and where condition you want to update update record impl implicitly ca uh, call the tts begin and TTS commit. Uh, update regards it is also good for performance point of view. This will take lot of loop. This may take if loop is very longer. Then you need to select update record set. this is simple query if you want to add uh, in a table in a query at runtime then you can do the same by this way you need to declare a query object query build data source object and if you want to pass any a range you need to declare the object of query build range and query run I, uh, this is the cash table example this is the dir party table example and then you need to initialize the query query equal to new query then add the table to this data source using this query if you want to sort on any field in descending or ascending then you can add the sort field Add sort field to the query build data source. If you want to pass the range, then query build range. Uh, you can uh, equal of the operator. And set the query build data source dot add range and count now. Then you can pass the value. Its query value, the method. And this is again passing the query value and then need to initialize the query run object put in the while condition and again set your query run to your objects and you can use the info of the values if we run, I run the this and it's giving the values using query data source 
thanks for watching this clip if you like this and you want to learn more on ax or sql then i regularly post on my channels you need to subscribe it so you will grow i will grow with you you will grow with me thank you very much